Well, I'm super excited to show you how I've integrated the Shelly 3EM, a smart home energy monitor, right into my smart home setup. And thanks to this HomeBridge plugin, I can now effortlessly track my home energy's consumption right from the eVap. Hello and welcome to my channel, which is all about building an affordable DIY smart home that supports the Apple HomeKit ecosystem. And I've done tons of tutorial videos that you can literally use right now. So pretty please do take a look and don't feel shy to like, share and subscribe to always follow along. So first off, let's talk about what the Shelly 3M is all about. Now, this product comes from a reputable company called Shelly, which focuses on producing smart electrical products, both for a residential as well as commercial applications. And unlike some brands, Shelly doesn't simply rebrand white label products. They've been always designing their own. And the Shelly 3M is a compact device designed to be installed in your main electrical box where it monitors energy usage across three phases. And this makes it perfect for keeping track of your entire home's electricity consumption. Now, it's Wi-Fi enabled, allowing it to send real-time data directly to your choice of smart home system, such as Home Assistant or even the dedicated Shelly app. However, for us Apple users, HomeKit doesn't currently support the energy characteristic. I even checked the latest documentation and unfortunately, there's no mention of the term energy. But thanks to this HomeBridge plugin, we can still expose those consumption values directly to the eVap. And you might ask me why I am monitoring our electricity usage. Well, it's just for one simple reason, to become more energy efficient by comparing the overall power generated with our overall consumption. Then from that data, I can then identify any energy leaks as well as potentially save money on our energy bills. And don't worry, I have a video coming up soon that explains how we set up our eco-friendly home that includes solar panels, rainwater collection, as well as other sustainable elements. And I've also taken the opportunity to tell you all the five benefits I've seen personally by using this device over other white label branded manufacturers. Number one, reliable and accurate energy monitoring. Now the Shelly 3M is praised for its accuracy in measuring energy consumption, which is crucial for anyone relying on the data for their energy management. Two, open API and integration flexibility. One of the standout features of this device is its open API, which allows for an extensive integration. You can integrate this device into various ecosystems, including Home Assistant, HomeBridge, or even MQTT. Three, robust cloud and local control options. Shelly devices give users the choice between cloud-based control or entirely local operation. This dual compatibility ensures that you retain control over your data. Four, regular firmware updates. Shelly is known for providing regular firmware updates that improve functionality, security, and compatibility as well. And the last, perhaps the most important benefit is that it's compliance with international standards. All of Shelly devices are built to meet international safety and performance standards, making sure that the devices are reliable and safe to use in a variety of environments and are less likely to encounter issues with local regulations. And thanks to these benefits, I still believe that the Shelly 3M is a compelling and worthy choice for anyone looking for a reliable, feature-rich, and versatile energy monitoring solution for their smart home. Now, let's get back to the fun part by making all of this work with the eVap and here's what we'll need. One is Shelly 3EM, installed and connected by a professional. Once the device is connected to your network and to the relevant faces and neutral wires, check that it's reporting its status in the Shelly app or even the web app. And then to enable the integration with the eVap, we'll be using HomeBridge running on a Raspberry Pi. I've also left links in the description for installing HomeBridge on multiple hardware platform. So let's not waste any more time and let's jump into this tutorial. 
All right, before we go ahead and configure the plugin, what we're gonna do is first make sure it's accessible via the cloud or the local IP addressing. So first things first, you want to access your router settings and then you want to look for the Shelly 3M, which is under client devices since I'm using Unify. So I'm just gonna look for Shelly, click on it, and I wanna make sure that I give it a reserved IP address, a fixed IP address. So whenever there's a network restart, it always uses the same thing. And this information is going to be used in the Homebridge plugin configuration. So once that is done, we wanna make sure that the device is accessible through the cloud services. So I'll just go ahead and log in and I'll leave the link in the description to access the devices through the Shelly Cloud web link. And you can see that it's accessible. I'll also show you how to deactivate the access. So right now it's accessible over the internet. So if I click on it, I can get all of the information over here. And you can also adjust the settings if you want to access this device over the internet. So you can see on the screen right now, these are all of the values that are being populated. You can also get historical data over hours or days or months as well. Now with this being done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and access the device through the local IP address. So if I go back to my network settings, if I copy this information, it's gonna open up a new tab, I'm gonna paste it. So now, I have got to put in a username and password. Now this is how the device interface looks like when you access it over your local network. It's a lot more limited and it's only allowing you to see the current information and not a detailed breakdown as the Shelly Cloud uh, information. This is because then the application you're connecting connecting it to like home assistant or to your choice of database, you can extract that information. Now, what I want to touch base through the local IP address is that you can go to internet and security and you always want to make sure you've got the restrict login. So you want to give it a username and password. This is a must to any of your IoT dev devices that can be accessed over the IP address locally. Please assign a username and password. It's considered as a best practice. However, if you go all the way down under cloud, you can go ahead and deactivate the cloud connection, but that's a choice of your own. So this is the way you can access your device over the cloud, over the internet, or over your local uh, network by reserving the IP address. Now from here, let's go ahead and configure the plugin, which is super easy. Let's log into Homebridge and you want to go to plugins and all we're going to do is type Shelly. Now you're going to see a plethora of plugins uh, right here, but what we're going to do is specifically look for the Homebridge 3EM energy meter. So let's go ahead and install the plugin. Select the latest version. Let's click on setup and just give it whatever name you have. I'm just going to leave it energy monitor. I'm going to put in the IP address. I'm going to fill in the username and password. And the timeouts, I left the value default. And you see this option over here, use Shelly 3M device. When you do the, select this, it's only going to uh, consolidate the channel one and channel two consumption. If you don't have this enabled, it will then consolidate the Shelly 3EM's three-phase energy monitoring. So you want to make sure if you're using the Shelly 3EM, don't select this option. If you're using the Shelly EM, then you can select this option to consolidate phase one and phase two. So since we're using it Shelly 3EM, I will not use this option or select this option. And then I've just left everything as is. And if you know the serial number, just populate that information over here. Once that is done, all you have to go and do is hit save. So I'll just go ahead put in the username and password, and then we're gonna see what exactly shows up. I'm gonna go ahead and restart Homebridge. So once the Homebridge service is restarted, you'll only see that it's initializing the accessory and it's only going to get services. It does not provide any more information on how the data is being imported or sent over to Apple HomeKit or the EVAP. Now, if I go to plugins quickly, you wanna make sure you're going to start seeing this question mark for plugins that have Homebridge 2.0 readiness if the plugin is ready. So you want to take it a pinch of salt from all the plugins that you've installed and you've been using for a home. Just watch out before you upgrade to version 2.0 because all of the plugins must be in compliance with that platform. Again, I'll talk about it in another video. So now once this is configured, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go first, open up the Apple Home app. And within the Apple Home app, if I go to my living room, and you'll see that it just shows up as an energy monitor since Apple doesn't support the energy characteristic. Nothing is going to be shown over here. 
that's about it. However, what we're going to do is we're going to go open up and look at the EVAP. And if I go to my living room, you'll see that the energy meter is right here. So when I click on this, it's going to be showing me my current consumption and all of the projected costs, the total consumption, as well as the other information. Now, if you want to go ahead and update the cost per kilowatt, you want to go to the configuration, you want to go to general and you want to go to energy cost and you want to update the value right here. So that's the only way of updating. So when you go back to the device, you'll see that it automatically populates the projected cost for the year, the projected consumption and your actual consumption. Now, the thing is, since I've got solar panels in my home, it's not able to pull in that information right here. However, in Home Assistant, I'm able to see that information day over day. So that's the only difference. So with EVAP, you're only seeing the current information and the projected information. I tried running a automation right here, but unfortunately, the goal was uh, if the consumption was above uh, 10 kilowatts for the day to send me a alert, unfortunately, that automation does not work. So with this current integration, you're only going to see the past information that you can scroll through by hours, days, week and month, the present as well as a future projected cost. So that's the only advantage you have when you're using this device within the EVAP. And that's how I've integrated the Shelly 3M into my smart home setup, enabling seamless energy monitoring through the EVAP with the help of Homebridge. And this setup not only allows me to track NEG usage, but also helps me in optimizing it and potentially saving money on energy costs. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share and subscribe for more DIY smart home videos. Until the next time, my friends, Cheers and happy automation.